What's up guys and welcome back to another video where we are going to dive into the car collection of a celebrity. If you guys don't know how these videos work yet, all you have to do is comment down below the name of a celebrity you would like to see us cover in next week's video. Also remember to subscribe if you aren't already, but let's get straight into it. You were so many asking us for this. Today we are gonna be covering Michael Schumacher. Now I want to start off by saying that all of our thoughts of course are with Michael and his family following his tragic skiing accident. Michael like any sportsman at the very top of their game has inspired so many over the years and today is still the person who holds the most world championships in Formula One. Arguably the best driver of all time. He spent most of his career at Ferrari, ended it at Mercedes and you're going to see that that is a theme that will come through when we look at his personal car collection, which is very hard to track it down, but effectively is mainly Ferraris. He definitely has plenty of money to play with in order to buy himself supercars. Today, his net worth is estimated at around $800 million. Let's get right into it. one of the cars he is most associated with. That is the Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Now, not F430 Scuderia. For the Scuderia, they took the F away and it just was 430 Scuderia. Now, the reason Michael is so associated with it is because he actually helped in the development of this car. And it is the only Ferrari, hardcore Ferrari, that he was really let loose on. So he went all in with the naturally aspirated V8, 510 horsepower, single clutch F1 gearbox, which can change gear in 60 milliseconds, massive carbon ceramic brakes, carbon fiber all over the place. He basically said he wanted to build a race car for the road, which he managed to do. I feel particularly close to this car, having bought one not too, too long ago. Let me tell you, it is a masterpiece. A car that will go down in history as being the car developed by Michael Schumacher, and of course, he had to have one. So he got one in a very classic red Ferrari spec. Now, this reportedly may be the only Ferrari that was actually given completely for free to Michael. So the Ferrari F1 drivers get huge discounts on the Ferraris, but they don't actually get them for free. They still have to pay something. However, the 430 Scuderia is one that Michael reportedly didn't actually have to pay for. The car that came next after the 430 Scuderia in the Ferrari lineup was the 458 Italia with closer to 600 horsepower now, a double clutch gearbox, another car that then sat in Michael's collection. With him being present at the launch, and then we believe ordering his own, having one of the first 458 Italias. He's basically had all of the modern Ferraris. He had a Ferrari California, same thing at a launch. He announced that he would be driving one of these around uh, as a daily driver. So California as well, another V8. Actually, fun fact, the California was the last Ferrari to be made with a manual gearbox. So there was the 430s, the 599s, but the last ones to leave the factory with a manual were Californias. No reports on whether Michael's was flappy paddles or a manual gearbox, but you can probably presume it was paddles because that's probably what he's most used to. Ferrari 599 GTB, of course, another one that sits in the collection. This actually has an engine which is derived from another car which he's got, which is the Ferrari Enzo, but the 599 GTB, massive GT Cruiser V12, completely different kind of car to the Scud, the 458 Italia, uh, or the California. So this is the big, luxurious, expensive Ferrari V12. Of course, he could have pretty much any one of these Ferraris if he really wanted to. Another one which was created for him was the Michael Schumacher edition of the 550, which is another V12 front engine Ferrari. And it was basically specced out with his own options, so carbon seats, manual, etc. So there were several of these cars which will be sat in his collection. Surprisingly, actually, some of them, there are no reports of him owning. So we've just listed the ones that we could find that apparently he does own. As I mentioned, of course, the Ferrari Enzo. Now, this was sold, apparently, actually, uh, so no longer sits in the Schumacher collection, but the Ferrari Enzo was the ultimate Ferrari when it came out. So over 600 horsepower, naturally aspirated V12, single clutch F1 gearbox. It was named after Enzo Ferrari, the founder of Ferrari, of course. So one which will go down in history and still to this day looks epic. Now, he actually had a hardcore version of this as well, the FXX track only version. So his road going car was classic red, outside uh, there was a video of it actually in paris very classic spec from michael there but then his fxx race car was black and you can see on a few videos that most of these coming down this is in monza actually uh, that you can see loads of these red fxx's coming down towards the first corner 
and then his is the only black one, which is a pretty cool touch um, and awesome to see that Michael actually has his own race cars that he drives around. He owns himself personally a ton of Formula One cars as well, of his own Formula One cars he was famous for, like uh, um, Fernando Alonso, he's another driver who's, who's famous for buying his uh, victorious F1 cars after the races. Michael Schumacher did the same, but there are so many, and it's so hard to track down which are his, that uh, we're not gonna go through the race cars yet, we're just doing his road cars, his personal road cars but know that he owns at least about 10 of his own F1 cars. Slight change as well is he's been reported to actually own one of the classic Fiat 500s from many years ago and a modern one, uh, which you can see him posing next to with some Ferrari livery, which probably was taken off, but just to cruise around town uh, where he lives most of the time in Switzerland, where he is now actually, you need a Fiat 500. Moving away from the Italians, two other cars he's been reported with whilst he was at Mercedes was a Mercedes E-Class convertible, which apparently Michael Schumacher would drive to Brackley to the uh, headquarters there, well, headquarters, the factory there. He would often show up in an E-Class convertible and an SLS AMG, naturally aspirated V8, 6.2 liter V8, um, awesome car, gullwing doors going up in value massively. Those obviously came during the end of his career when he was with Mercedes Petronas alongside Nico Rosberg. Now, obviously the first thought that you, know, you have is wishing him all of the best currently, um, himself and his family. I'm sure they have been through and are still going through so much. You know, these cars, whilst they sit in his collection, are probably not getting much use today, but the priority is health and uh, we wish him all of the very best again to himself and his family. Those are the cars that were reported to be sat in his private car collection. Personally, I'm sure that there have been many, many more over the years, but very hard to track down. He hasn't been vocal at all or spotted at all driving uh, personal supercars around. But as predicted, there are a lot of Ferraris. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little run through of Michael Schumacher's car collection. Remember to comment down below the person you would like us to talk about next week. Subscribe if you're not already, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll be seeing you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers guys, bye-bye.